And our third main topic today gets submitted to us by Ophel M. Who I know somebody named Ophel, actually. Ophel M. writes, As the DCEU continues to move forward in this new direction, uh, one of the mo in this new direction, one of the movies I can't wait for is the next Aquaman. I love the first one. I'm also a big Game of Thrones fan, so you know I get excited about the news. Uh, you know, help me out. Pilo Asbeck, uh, he played Euron Greyjoy in Game of Thrones, was joining the movie with Jason Momoa, so I guess you could say it's a Game of Thrones reunion. I haven't seen Pilo in anything other than Thrones, so I wanted to know what you think of him and his casting. Thanks. All right, thanks a lot for sending that in. And yeah, listen, this guy as Euron Greyjoy in Game of Thrones was awesome. I loved every scene he was in in that. Now, I'm not familiar with a lot of his work, right? The only other things that I know him from are uh, Ghost in a Shell. Not the best movie, but he was, mm -hmm. he was pretty good in it. But the other one was the tragically underwatched movie Overlord that he starred in along with Wyatt Russell, who is currently, you know, Walmart Captain America oh, and Falcon and Winter Soldier. Overlord was a lot of fun and ain't nobody went to go see it. It was a fun little movie. And oh, nobody he was also in Ben-Hur. Oh, well, that's a, another very forgettable movie. Yeah. That was a very, oh, God, I that know. was so bad. Uh, but at any rate, this guy in Game of Thrones and in Overlord, I just think he was terrific. So adding him to an Aquaman. Now, so obviously because we're most familiar with him as Greyjoy, we're thinking villain. And maybe he will be the villain. Uh, maybe he'll be a villain here. Maybe yes, maybe no. We don't know. I don't want to typecast the guy. But overall, this is pretty fantastic. I like this guy. He's got a terrific screen presence. He has a way of coming on screen. Because listen, Game of Thrones had some really big, larger-than-life performers and characters. But whenever Euron was on screen, he owned the screen. He captured your attention. And if he can bring that kind of presence to a movie like Aquaman 2, hell yes, sign me up. Anyway, Aaron, you heard about this. What do you think about the addition of, I'm going to try it again, uh, Pilo? Pilo Asbeck? Asbeck. Yeah, that's how I'm saying it. I'm probably wrong. But what do you think about him joining the cast oh, of Aquaman 2? Oh, I think it's 2? great. Yeah, I, I, I agree. He had uh, he has a, a, a charisma that I think is what really sells a villain. You know, when we yeah. talk about the greatest villains in cinema history, I mean, I challenge you to come up with one that uh, that that would top Anthony Hop Hopkins ha in Tons of Lambs. No. Yes. And Anthony sorry, I just like all, all of a sudden I was questioning that. You know, I mean, as certainly there have been many who uh, could be arguably uh, more of a villain, but certainly when when most people think of the ultimate movie villain, we think of Silence of the Lambs, uh, Hannibal Lecter as played by Anthony Hopkins. And so much of that was the fact that he was so charismatic. And I thought that is what um, Pilo, Pilo, however pronounce his name, sorry, uh, brought to Euron Greyjoy. And he's also, what I was noticing as I was flipping through just some pictures, He's a big guy. He is a big guy. He's yeah. A, he's tall. He he has a very a uh, large uh uh physique. <laughs> All I see is got he's got a very large he's a, um, I'm, um, trying to, I'm trying to say it without like sounding like I'm sexualizing <laughs> him because I'm absolutely not. I'm just saying that like he, I can see him and uh he and Jason Momoa going Head to head without one of them. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm still listening on the large Jason Momoa and him going head to head. <laughs> hey, that's I, a you I, thing, John. I am not saying that at all. I'm just saying he is. He's very broad shoulders. He's a big guy, and so I, I'm, ex I, 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 I'm excited to see him stacked up against Jason Momoa. Um, you know, like for example, if Jason Momoa was doing. Uh, Aquaman with Seth Green. It probably would be a little <laughs> bit of a different dynamic, you know. Uh, D Seth Green is brilliant in his own way, but uh, just the physical nature of the two of them, kind of like when you added Dwayne the Rock Johnson with v Vin Diesel in the Fast and the Furious yeah, franchise, you were yeah. like, "Wow, these are two like you know mega dudes like going after it, you know, on a on a very physical action packed movie." And so uh, I'm, I'm excited just because I feel like uh, his natural charisma that we saw in Game of Thrones, plus um, he has a 
a formidable stature about him yeah. that I think is going to be to work really well opposite Jason Momoa, um, who also has an incredible charisma. Yeah, he does on screen. So I, I think that this is going to be a very exciting pairing, and I look forward to seeing the chemistry that the two actors have together. And uh, I had a lot. I just had a lot of fun with Aquaman. It was the, I believe, yeah, it was the first DCU movie to make a billion dollars. I mean, I didn't think that movie was going. I I knew Aquaman was going to be a big hit. I, I said that for, but I never thought it would make eight hundred million. Right. Let alone a billion. Yeah. At the box office, and lo and behold, Good for them. I'm looking forward to seeing what they do here. Question is for you guys. What do you think about the addition of Pilo? Oh, hell, let's just call him Euron Greyjoy. To Aquaman <laughs> 2, I think it's really interesting. How do you guys feel about it? Jump on down to the comments section below and let us know your thoughts. Okay, guys. 